Hello, this is Smoke and Joe Gamer on Twitch.tv and YouTube and Mastodon. You can follow me there. Um, today, as part of August Adventures, I'm going to play Shovel Knight. So I bought this game on the Wii U when it came out, then bought the PS4 version. As you can see, I beat it and went into New Game Plus and got all the stuff. But I also um, have a file for the other modes. But I was thinking today, and, and Ben is my brother's file, so I'm just going to start a new game. Just the regular Shovel of Hope mode, but as you can see, I have all of the main story things accessible here. Um, Sure, let, let me do that. <laughs> Why not? And I'll do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll put in. Um, no, that's not what I want. Yeah, I'll do. I'll just call it Twitch, and that way I'll know why I created it and what it was for. That's right. Okay. So Shovel Knight is a very special game. I've never streamed it before. I haven't played it in years. But I was watching my brother play it a few weeks ago, and I was like, oh, I want to play that again. And this is just a perfect game for August Adventures, I would think. So it's not quite like a Metroidvania. It's not an RPG. But it's a platformer little bit of puzzle solving I guess and there's some hidden areas and stuff so definitely a, a good adventure game and I don't know just a great game you know if you grew up in the 90s like I did then this is like it's like Mega Man it's DuckTales it's Mario 3 it's just a awesome awesome uh, retro inspired game here and who knows maybe uh, if I try really hard I can um, speedrun it or something, who knows. Alright, so I'm actually kind of starting on time tonight, so I don't know how late I'm going to go. I didn't eat dinner yet, but it's Saturday, so who cares, right? I can stay up as late as I want on Saturday, why not? Okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and just get this started now. Hopefully people will come in and watch. The story is that Shovel Knight and Shield Knight are together, and they fight evil. See, I was really hoping they would do a sequel where you get to play as Shield Knight. Yeah, so even though this game came out a long time ago and it's been ported to every platform you can think of. Um, it's on Steam, it's on PS4, PS3, Xbox, whatever. So you can play this on basically any system is what I'm saying, but since then, I mean, yeah, they did the expansions that let you play as other characters and they have their own campaigns and all that, and that's nice. Um, then they did Shovel Knight Showdown, which is kind of like a Smash Bros. style fighting game type thing. And then they just did uh, some weird kind of roguelike game where you just keep shoveling downward. But I, I, what I wanted was a true sequel. I really thought they would have done that by now. Not so, you know, there's been plenty of spin-offs, and that's great. There's a Shovel Knight uh, amiibo figure, I think, if you can find it. But yeah, Dear Yacht Club Games, this game was fucking amazing. Do another one. I appreciate the uh, spin-offs and whatnot, but I really just want an actual sequel that's just like this. 
but with new levels and new enemies, and maybe let us play as Shovel Knight or Shield Knight, that would be fun. Just saying. So, get on that. <laughs> so here's the, you know, DuckTales influence. You know, being able to do your downward thrust and bounce off of things. Which you need for puzzle solving and whatnot. Um, another thing you can do is destroy checkpoints to get extra money. Not this one, though. But that just means if you die, and you will die a lot, then you would go back to the previous checkpoint, and that can be problematic. And of course, always attack the walls, because there might be, you know, stuff in there. Alright. This dragon's a piece of cake, you just keep bouncing off his head. Pretty easy. So, everything you loved about 80s and 90s platformers, it's all here. It's also hard as fuck, so, you've been warned. So, I, even though I've played through this game probably three times before in my life, I wouldn't be able to speedrun it without some practice, of course. And uh, you do get trophies and stuff, so that gives you some more incentive to jump back in and play it some more. And spikes are instant death, just so you know. You can see it's pretty simple. You jump, you shovel, <laughs> but you do get other relics, and then you do eventually get special abilities and other armor. You get songs that you can give to a minstrel dude. You can upgrade your maximum health and mana. So. And it does have New Game Plus if you want to, you know, get some more replay value out of it. Oops. Hold on. I don't want to do that yet. Bounce. Ow. There are also some really tough uh, bosses in this game. <laughs> oh. Turkey! So if I were to make a list of my favorite games ever, I think this would be on there. I don't know, you know, what position, but it would definitely make the list. Well, depending on how long it is, too. I mean, I've played hundreds of games in my life, so I mean, this would definitely be in the top, top 20 or 30, I would say. I don't like ranking things, though. It's time-consuming and difficult. Yeah, typically when I make lists of my favorite stuff, I don't like to do it in any specific order. Or I do it alphabetically, you know, just because it's easier. Secret! And all this gold is important, and then when you die, you drop your some of your gold into three separate piles. So... Your first time playing this level, I don't think it lets you destroy checkpoints. Not that you'd want to if you're not really good at the game yet. He has an amazing chiptunes soundtrack. Some of the gold went into the pit. Oh, well. 
Yeah, okay. First death. I knew that was coming. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. So, I think a third of your gold gets dropped and split into three piles. Which, of course, can be frustrating when those piles end up in spots where you can't get to them. Alright, let's try that again. So, you know, I'm good at the game, but I'm not that good. <laughs> No. <laughs> All I had to do was just let him kill himself. Okay. Wonderful. And I mentioned DuckTales already, but now I'm like, shit, I should go play DuckTales. I could beat that game in like seven minutes, I think. Yeah, I played the hell out of that game when I was a kid. There were games that I knew how to speedrun before I even knew what speedrunning was, or before it was even really a thing. And it's just easier to stream directly from console as well, even though I don't have my, uh, I don't have a camera. But I got my headset plugged in instead of the controller microphone. game is just freaking awesome. Okay, here we go. Order of no quarter. Even if you can beat him off of reflecting that. Ah, there we go. I'm, I'm sure I've got... Oh, I just got it, too. Nice. Well, there you go. You get a trophy if you kill him using his own pink fireball. Excellent. Now you know. I died once, didn't permanently lose any gold, which is nice. And now I gotta try to catch her. And originally, it was just, um, Shovel Knight was a boy, and other characters were male or female, but one of the things they added in the later update was the ability to change genders of characters, which I think is neat. Now, we got a thunderstorm coming through here, so hopefully I don't lose power or internet. Alright. So it's great, you go to... You got this nice town where you can upgrade stuff and buy shit, and it's fun. And this dude, he's a bard, you give him music sheets and you get rewards.
Permanent health increase. Excellent. Oh yeah, and she gives you useful stats. I'm not a witch! Why the hell not? Alright, so I spent all my money. I'm going to go to the Lair of Spectre Knight first. Just going to be cruising right along here. Let me bounce off of your heads, jerk. Do. There we go. All right, so you can. Oh, shit. this is probably a terrible idea, but you can totally destroy. Points. Okay. 
Okay, how do I get up there then? Oh well, I guess I fudged that, huh? So, see. <laughs> uh, all the way back to the start. And enemies respawn, but money does not. enemy is worth fighting, really. Probably not a good idea to destroy that. When you see a sparkle, then that means there's actually something there that you want.
Dang it. I didn't buy the chalice. Oh, well. to do this the whole time. Phase locket is very helpful in boss fights.
Sometimes it can be very specific just to hit them. Sometimes you get lucky, huh? Gotcha. Ha ha. I win. Oh, took two tries, but didn't lose any money.
Alright, so now there's a whole song and dance you gotta watch. Gems behind most of these red curtains. It's an achievement if you can destroy all of the um, checkpoints in a level and still beat the level. This dude reminds me of the Dark Nuts from uh, Zelda 2. Oh wait, I think I could have bounced up somewhere. Oh well.
That's what it is. So if you don't buy the relics from him within the level, then he'll just sell it to you at a higher price in the village. So. If you got the money, then you might as well buy it. right way yet. I gotta go the wrong way first. That's where all the cool shit is. Or, you know, I don't know what the right or wrong way is right now. Okay. Just remember where certain things are, I guess. I don't know what the right or wrong way is right now. Oh, okay. Okay. So that was the wrong way, but I got prize. Oh, look. Look at that. Cool. Yeah, this is a great game.
So this part's annoying. I don't want to destroy that checkpoint because this would just be a real pain in the ass to have to replay. Or, you know, I don't want to have to go all the way back and then have to... just to get to this part. You have to hit the book to get these to pop up. It's a whole thing. But if you go fast enough, it's fine. Ow. And the game does give you enough money to buy all this stuff. Assuming you don't die and permanently lose any of it. And here he is. King Knight. You aren't even a real king. <laughs> Decadent dandy. Shovel Justice. Silence! Easy. You can also replay stages if you want. Hey! Look at that chest. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Alrighty then. Go back to the village. Look how happy he is. You have a meal ticket? Wow! Cool! jokes. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Well, 
Well, I want to save up some gold to buy the better armor sets and stuff when they become available, but I don't know when that is. Oh, well. What? That's what happens when you carry a lot of gold. They fuck you. Ooh! Alright, I hate this game. That should never become a thing. Permanently losing your shit should never... Yes. He's great. No, th that needs to stop being a thing. Permanent loss of progress and money should just stop being a thing. And we have From Software to thank for that shit. Oh, okay, that's right. I was trying to get to the airship. Okay, so once I get to the airship, then I can, like, buy stuff, and that's why I'm saving all this money, but game seems pretty hell-bent on not letting me keep it, if, I, if I'm not careful. <laughs> yeah, so permanently losing your shit needs to stop being a thing. Like, this isn't a roguelike. And a lot of people don't like roguelikes, so... If your game is not a roguelike, then don't have roguelike shit in it. And if your game is a roguelike, then I'm not going to buy it, so it works out. Oh. Hang on, there's something up there. <laughs> All right. So luckily those optional areas, you, you can exit them and not lose all your stuff. And maybe I'll try again when I don't have so much to lose.
This reminds me of a stage from Mega Man 3, I want to say. Just the background and the neon colors and stuff. Doom! of your deaths are going to be from spikes and pits, not from enemies. See that slime there? Well, I can blend it in with the background. Oh no. I 
doppelganger made of green goo. Whatever shall I do? They always give you a, a turkey right before the boss fight, usually. Heh, <laughs> leave me alone! Show yourself, Plague Knight. Trickery, hee <laughs> hee! Fifteen thousand nine hundred eighty two gold. How about that? Twenty thousand dollars. Excellent. Fine. 
Nein. I don't remember this at all. God damn it. remember this dude at all. I told you, this is what the game does. The game looks for all these ways to screw you out of your money when you try to save up. His tactics change depending on which hat he's using. Alright, I get him down to one hit point and then he fucks me. Come on. I don't remember this at all. And you have to keep going in there if you want to get your money back. Gotcha, asshole. the dad jokes in this game, they're great. Alright, but this is why I'm saving money, but they won't let me get up there. jump. Okay. Great. Alright, here we go. Alright, now what can I buy? Ah, 
actually acrobatic useless. Oh, that's right. On PlayStation, sometimes um, Kratos will show up. thousand dollars. <laughs> he starts crying. What a cry, baby. What a cry, baby. What what are you talking about? Sometimes you just can't get that last hit in. I win.
I win! Alright. You can do something really fun and mean here. Ready? Getting late, sort of. All right, I gotta stop. All right, I am going to stop playing now. So there you go. That's Shovel Knight. Really great game. Um, it's just that if you die a lot, you may permanently lose some of your gold. So just be careful. It is a very, very difficult game, especially as you get further in. Um, but that's about... Actually, that's maybe half the game right there. Okay, one, two, three, four. Four stages, and then there's a couple more, and yeah. So, all right. To anybody who watched, thanks for watching. And if you're on YouTube, then thanks for watching. And consider liking, subscribing, following. You know what to do. I'm trying to go affiliate on Twitch, so if you can help me out, that'd be great. All right. See ya.